The last app we'll take a look at is Powtoon. Here students can create videos and presentations that are exciting and different than normal presentations you'll get in the classroom. Also teachers can make videos and presentations for their own class or even for educational seminars. And this app is mostly free, but you do have to pay for some upgrades, but it is not necessary and we won't be paying for that today. So the first thing we need to do is log in. You've already done that and it'll take you to my Powtoons. Here you have three options. You can create a entire video or presentation from scratch, assuming you know precisely everything you want. You can build it scene by scene, which is what I tend to choose to do. Or if you're still not quite sure what you want to have in there, then you can go with the pick a popular template, which basically has it all done. You just have to put in the appropriate words. So one thing to keep in mind and an excellent thing to tell your students before they make their own video or presentation is to follow these steps that they give you. And it's to write the script, record a voiceover, and then add the visuals. So what we're going to do today is we're just going to pretend we already wrote our scripts and recorded our voiceover. And we're just going to go ahead and create our own Powtoon. So we're going to do the build it by scene by scene because I like that one. So that's what we're going to do. And you have five options of what you'd like to choose, and it tells you how many different styles they have down there. So there's a little bit extra. So I say let's try the whiteboard. And you can do it as a student. You can do it as a teacher. You can do it as a anybody. It doesn't matter. So we'll stick with student. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to click here, and we're going to find a template for our introduction. So where you see it says pro plan, those are the ones that you have to pay for. So we're just going to skip over that and move on with that. So we'll start with this one. And I'm just going to pick them at random just so we can see. And just know you can also pick a blank one if you decide you just need a couple templates, but you know what you want to do. Otherwise, it's whatever you want to pick. Okay, now that we have all of our backgrounds chosen, we'll come up over here to continue and they give you a nice reminder just in case you kind of forgot what you were doing. So we'll click continue. So as we can see, I accidentally clicked on one of the upgraded backgrounds. I still don't intend to pay for it, so I will just click the remove all premium objects and then I won't even have to worry about it. So what we have here are all our transitions. We'll start with what I think is the easiest part first in the transition between slides. Have a bunch of different choices. Let me give you a little preview ahead of time. Now that we have all our transitions down, we can focus on our slides. I think we'll do our presentation in the future tense. So I'll just come up here and change the title, but you can do it at the end too. It doesn't matter. So instead of worker's name, I can put the future tense. And if it's too big, you can always make the font smaller. You can shift it around. You can change the color if you decide you don't like that color. You can have it move, but we're going to keep it there for now. Or you can give it an effect, and there are a few different ones. You can have your words fly in, jump up, come in one by one, or you can have the hand write it, or you can have each letter done. It's up to you. We'll go like that. Move it into place, and then you can put whatever you want down there. Okay, and so we have everything in there. We see there's animation already set up here, and if we wanted to, we could swap it out for something else, change the animation settings. We can have none. We can have it be less or longer. We can flip it, or we can change the color of it, but I think it's fine the way it is, so we'll leave it. And you can also change the background color. So there we go. Now, if we want to see when all these things come flying in here, we click the timeline button, and it brings up the timeline of everything we have down there. And also you have an info button in case you need a little extra guidance. So as we can see, our words 
are coming in last. I kind of want them to come in first, so I'm going to click there, make sure it's highlighted on our words, and I'm going to grab this bar and slide it all the way over. This way it's going to be the first thing that comes in there now. And we can see, we'll move that over just so it's in the beginning, and we can see our slide is five seconds long, so we hit our preview button. And I think I came out kind of nice so far. So we'll move on to our next slide. For this one, you can, again, add whatever you want. Say you decide you don't need a number five, delete it. You don't want a green dot, delete it. And now you're just left with the four. With this, you can also make it bigger. You can slide it around. Change our colors. There we go. So as we can see, that's the last one that comes in. So we'll change our title as well. And say we wanted to add another picture. Now that we deleted the number five, we don't have enough stuff there, we've decided. So we can add an object. And we have a few things on the side. And if you see something you like, you can click more, see what else they have of it. Decide, yes, this weird diamond thing does look awesome. So you slide it over, make it bigger. Maybe we want to change the color. Beautiful. All right, say so we decide that's still not enough. We need more. We can add an image. And if I had a picture of my face, I could put it in one of those, but definitely going to choose not to. So I can upload an image from my own computer. Okay, or I can search for an image that's in their database. And again, just like before, there are some you have to pay for, and most of them are free. So you just type in whatever you want. So let's type in beach ball. And we get a lot of different kinds of pictures. I'm just going to go, see, these are premium. These are, our, you have to buy them. I'm not about that lifestyle. So I'm just going to pick this random one, use it. Yay, it was uploaded successfully. So I've decided, you know what, what was I thinking? This is huge, so we can just delete it. And it's all back to normal and fine. So when you think you're, you're done, you got everything the way you like it, what you can do is you can preview it. So if you decide this is great, I love it, you're going to export it, you hit export, and we'll leave it in my Powtoons. Now, since we didn't uh, buy the package, we have to keep it public, which is a little embarrassing for me because my name's on this hodgepodge of a thing, and we put our title, we'll leave it untitled, it should be fine, and we can pick a category, and it's education for us, so yay. And we export, and we wait. Congratulations, our video has been uploaded. So, if you're watching it and then you think, oh man, I thought this was good, you edit it. If you decide you like it, you can either show it in your classroom, show it in your presentation, wherever you're doing it, or you can upload it to a variety of social media links. If you log out and you come back in and you want to find it again, you just go back to my Powtoons. And we see the same screen that we saw when we first started. And we come down here and we see, oh, look at that. There it is. That one's there. And all the other ones I've made are also there. The only downside to Powtoons is that clearly this takes a long time. And you have to make sure you have ample time in the classroom for students to see how you use it, learn how to use it, use it, and then present their material. So it definitely takes a bit more time than, say, you're using just like Microsoft PowerPoint. But as you can see, there are a lot more things you can do with it. It's very exciting and it kind of grabs your attention a little bit better. So once you learn how to use it and how to use it well, then it's really, really worth it. Thank you.